spokesperson for Cop Wheel.
to put an end to any furtherance of the Guns Pulp Mill project immediately. In the absence of that, the community is prepared and willing to take it to court and commence legal action to bring an end to the further unlawful activity without delay. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Code Green now perceives all activity on the Guns Pulp Mill site, the proposed Pulp Mill site, to be unlawful. Should the Attorney General and the State Government fail to step in tomorrow and put the necessary um, prohibitions in place, Code Green will stand with the rest of the Tamar Valley community and the greater Tasmanian people against this process and against the emplacement of a mill which has been created through the most deplorable and disingenuous, irresponsible backdoor means ever bitten by the Australian people. And we will be stopping and doing everything in our abilities to stop the pulp mill and any further construction to go ahead. Substantial commencement has not been met and the dams have not been substantially completed. 
when you have photographs of the dam sites showing that construction in respect of the dam has not even commenced, when you have photographs of the pulp mill site showing that all that has happened is there has been clearing and subsequent revegetation, then on the face of it, it is clear that substantial commencement and substantial completion have not been achieved. Is there any particular case law that you're allowing in Vanessa or any cases that you know of where it's been limited? Use of the phrase substantial commencement and also use of the phrase substantial completion are not uncommon in legislation in this country. And so as a result, there are a number of cases right up to the High Court that have considered what those phrases mean. You need to look at the size of the project as a whole and work out what is substantial in respect of the size of the project. This is a seriously large project and what would need to have been achieved to meet the substantial commencement deadline is much more than what has been done. If you take, for example, a permit to construct a residential dwelling, substantial commencement is actually clearing the area of land and laying the foundations. If that's substantial commencement in respect of such a small project, we can understand that substantial commencement in respect of a project of this size requires significantly more work than has been done. So in giving uh, the Attorney General and Mr Shack 24 hours to do something? Well, it's the Attorney General that is empowered with bringing an end to any further work in relation to the project, and it's the Attorney General that ought to exercise that power. If the Attorney General or the State Government generally wants to bestow that power on Mr Shack, then he ought to injunct the further unlawful activity if Guns decides to pursue that course. Lara King always said that it's not up to her to extend the permit as Alex uh, Shaft, the EPA. Surely the EPA is under the government. She can sack all the government, all the public service, and Alex Shaft is just a public service too. Why can't she? Uh, it's actually a section of the Pulp Mill Assessment Act that imposes the substantial commencement deadline. So it is only the Parliament that can actually extend it. Also seems to me that she doesn't have the will. She doesn't really want to do 